having an amazing week. So we have all wondered this before, but nobody really ever talks about it. How important are your actual looks? Like when it comes to dating or finding a relationship or just like your success in life in general. So you guys know I'm a relationship therapist with a doctoral degree in psychology. So today I'm gonna answer the question and tell you guys if looks really matter based on my experience of people in relationships and based on the research that's been done in the field. If you guys are new to Ask Kimberly, I'm doing another scent giveaway because I know you guys love scents and I personally love them too. This perfume is the brand new Charlotte Tilbury scent, Scent of a Dream, and it literally just came out like a couple of hours ago. I'm so excited. The only requirement to enter is to be subscribed to Ask Kimberly here on YouTube and to follow me on Instagram here. And the winner will be announced on September 31st. Okay, good luck guys. All right, you guys, let's get right into the video. <laughs> Number one, okay you guys, so it turns out that looks do matter, dot dot dot, wait for it, when it comes to looking confident, at least. Research shows that a confident posture literally improves a person's overall attractiveness as perceived by others. Whether you're a guy or girl and looking to impress a crush or just meeting somebody for the first time, you can literally come across as like the most attractive person in the world if you carry yourself the same way that a confident person would. This explains why certain celebrities who are not accepted as like traditionally good looking can actually actually transcend their physical appearance with things like their confidence, their posture, and their social status. Facial symmetry is attractive to the human eye, but that can only go so far. Research shows that a person's body language can influence their attractiveness by 40%. If a person has friendly and positive body language, they can go from being considered attractive by only 40% of people to being considered attractive by 80% of people. And this is all from opening up and making their stance more positive. A confidence stance is sitting up straight, putting your shoulders back, pointing your feet toward the person that you're talking to, and smiling. A smile can go such a long way because it enhances your physical features, but it also shows how positive and beautiful you are from the inside out. Number two, looks also matter when it comes to looking put together. Research shows that for both guys and girls, being well-groomed can result in more people thinking that you're good looking and can lead to more success in love and dating. One study found that women's attractiveness at work is entirely judged on how well-groomed the woman is as opposed to her actual looks. The well-groomed women also made more money. The study showed that a woman would automatically appear more attractive if she took the time to shower each day, have good hygiene, put on a clean outfit, have styled hair, and wear basic makeup. This one I think is a little bit unfair and it just shows how far the world needs to come because men at work are not judged to the same standards. The study showed that men can take just minutes getting ready for work and still be perceived as attractive. Number three, there are certain traits that can make people seem more attractive from a biological perspective. These include a thick limbal ring on your eye, which indicates fertility, long and thick hair, which is an indicator of good health, and this applies to guys too with long hair and beards, and red lips for women, which suggest ovulation. If you guys wanna learn more later about evolutionary beauty and how to simulate these traits, I've done a whole video on scientific beauty tricks and I'll link the video at the end. So guys, as a relationship therapist, what's my opinion? Can looks really stand on their own? No breaking way. There are so many people in this world who are super good looking and then you get to know them and they're a complete dud. Or other people who you don't really notice at first but then you get to know them and they start to seem so attractive. Physical looks just can't stand on their own because they simply can't embody a person's full beauty. This is because there are so many separate unique qualities that make a person beautiful. Like our personality, our interests, our values, and sometimes it takes a bit of time for these things to come out. In dating though it can be so hard because we know we're literally being judged in the first few seconds of meeting someone and we want to make a good impression and like not turn that person off. Each and every one of you are beautiful in your own unique way and you deserve somebody who appreciates what makes you truly special. All right, you guys, if you love this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Come and follow me over on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And of course, guys, subscribe to Ask Kimberly for more weekly videos on relationships. Bye.